Hello everybody. Welcome. 1935 Allentown, Bethlehem Easton Airfield. <clears throat> Excuse me. It was a mod dug by Red Wing. It's now called the Lehigh International Airport. And uh, we're bringing a DC-3 in on a uh, sod landing. And, yeah, it's not an easy airport to approach if you've never been close to uh, where that airport is. The airport is still located right there. It's a big airport now. But, um, <clears throat> excuse me, I had uh, an opportunity to come in the right direction because they did have a few runways and I missed that opportunity. I wasn't paying attention. So I'm coming in with a pretty hefty crosswind. And the other problem was I was really having a hard time keeping the left wing down. But um, I got her in here and uh, got her stopped. But the texture on the airfield is really nice. I really like it does give the, the appearance of, uh, you know, gr a granular effect on the, uh, the surface. So anyway, we, we got her down here and uh, get stopped in time and turn around and head back toward the, uh, the main terminal. They've done a really good job on this uh, mod. I really like it. <clears throat> they have um, they have just enough stuff on the airport here to immerse you just a little bit, and um, the vehicles are all time period. The people uh, that are at the airport are time period. The aircraft, so it it is uh, fun. It's very fun. As we're moving around the airport, um, 
you can see the uh, the effort that was put in on the uh, vehicles. I'm really impressed with the uh, the time period. The DC three sitting there on the tarmac, and there's a uh, JN four. Jenny sitting over in the corner. So uh, did a pretty good job. I love the uh, the airport name on top of the the building, which was kind of common back in the day. Love the old luggage here. That's a lot of luggage. That lady is paying a big, big dime for this flight, I'm sure. I would imagine this was the probably the ticket area where you purchase your ticket for the fleet. And probably weighed out the uh, the baggage for the air crew. Go back here on the corner and check these trucks out. They look pretty good. He did a good job on these. Very impressed. Cargo sitting. Crates, containers. Got a nice Ford triplane down here. Looks like they've got uh, an engine on a hoist. One of the uh, Pratt Whitney Wasp engines they're working on. And they got some open containers here with uh, additional Wasp engines. And I think I think there's even one there with a uh, OX5. Very fitting to have the triplane in there, I think. This airport, by the way, is in Pennsylvania. I think it was mentioned that it was 60 <clears throat> buildings that were put on the uh, site. So if you wander around a little bit, you uh, you come across some other buildings that I didn't even cover here. Uh, little sheds, uh, some uh, different outbuilt buildings. So, uh, yeah, there's plenty to look at. If you just want to take the time to kind of scan around the airfield. Go back here in the back parking lot. Check these vehicles out. Some pretty nice cars back here. Including the black sedan, which is Allentown's police vehicle. I noticed they had two police officers on this airfield. That's a nice little touch. We're coming up to a building here, Amco building on the field and uh, I love how he did this the uh, advertising murals on the side reflect the time pretty cool looking some outbuildings open air buildings as we come back on the airfield, you're going to notice uh, these flags, <clears throat> two red flags. This is the air pickup system, which was developed by a dentist in Pennsylvania to pick up mail. The circle is a drop point, but this rig here is where a plane would fly by, grab the wire through the two bamboo poles, and would pick up that rubber container full of mail. And as he flew away without landing, they would reel that uh, rubber container into the aircraft and keep going to the next air airport. Very, very interesting story behind that. You should read it online if you get a chance, but it's called Air Pickup. And the company that made it back in the day I think it was called triple a 
but it's a very interesting story.